back at it again with the uh, peaches and or I don't know why I keep saying peaches it's nectarines and yogurt and cinnamon um so I left my camera at a friend's house which is why I haven't been vlogging but I was gonna show you guys what I got from the little festival thing so first off I got these earrings which are just darling they look like this and they're only five dollars so hopefully they won't turn my ear green but they're from like um Africa I believe she said so that's what they look like and then I also got little hair bubbles I'm gonna actually flip you guys around my phone by the way but I'm gonna try to open this little package so this is what they look like I actually already had one similar to this except it was in silver and it was given to me by a camper when I used to work at a summer camp but they're just like these adorable little butterfly hair clip things so they open like that it's got one in like a bluish color one in a whitish blue which is probably my favorite and then one in a red the thing is they the, these are rhinestones so i'm hoping they don't fall off unless they kind of lose their effect but yeah how adorable so I just shipped a girl um, her stuff from Depop, so you guys should really check mine out. And I will talk to you guys when I do something interesting. Hanging on to anything I can Feels like there's no room left to stand And everything seems backwards And then I feel a little dizzy Sitting still, but it don't stop the world from spinning so, what do you do when life's changing right in front of you and you don't have a clue of who you are? And there's no. So, this is just a quick breakfast. Um, I made a six minute egg and some spinach. And then I also got a package. Excuse my bed. Um,. So I just made me a spinach and cheese omelet, essentially, um, which is unique because I typically don't eat that big of a meal for breakfast. And I just got my French approval, so now I can go to get to the consulate to get my visa, so I'm super excited. So that's my petite dinner because the omelet I ate was pretty big. So there's cheese and veggies and one big egg. And I'm also, I'm also drinking Italian soda, which I diluted with some water to like make it more. Also, it's pretty sweet in the first place, so yeah. I wanted to show you how I do my summer makeup. Um, so I don't like wearing a lot of makeup in the summer like I imagine a lot of people do. Um, or like I imagine a lot of people want to wear as little as possible. So I naturally just never really wear like face makeup. Um, just because I like believe in good skincare and stuff like that where you don't really need to wear like um, foundation or anything like that. However, if... Um, I do have blemishes or anything like that. I will put in a little more work and maybe, like, conceal them. I do have this Tarte, like, BB Tinted Moisturizer, but I don't really ever use it. Anyways, so I mainly like to focus on the eyes since they're the windows of the soul. So what I've been using it, so I've had this for a while. It's, like, a L'Oreal, um, cream shadow thing. I just use it as a base on my lids. Makes your eyelids really pale if you are tan like me, but no worries, eyeshadow fixes it all. Plus it's just a base anyway, so it shouldn't be your like last color. Although it is a pretty color, I guess it would look better in the winter for me personally, but um, yeah, it's just a cream base. Simply Vera eyeshadow quad thing um one of my roommates mom used to work at Estee Lauder so she'd get a lot of free makeup so I'm just gonna take this light shimmery color right here and put that all over the lid and then for a slight crease color I'm using this brush I'm gonna take this dark brown and lightly carve my eye a little bit but yeah I have a package to return not a package but like one of the items I got from Zara I didn't love so I'm gonna return that 
And then I'm waiting for my other packages to arrive before showing you guys what I got, but that's on the game, that's on the agenda today. Um, I was supposed to go on a picnic with my friend Emily, but we went out last night on accident, not on accident, but um, just like last minute and we all got a little too, too wild and we're just tired, so yeah. And then I'll typically wear eyeliner just because I really like to accentuate the eyes so this is just a cheap one from Essence I think with eyeliners you don't really need anything fancy especially if it's just a pencil eyeliner I applaud girls who go like all out with their makeup just because I know it takes a lot of effort and time and whatnot but I just can't be bothered um plus like I said I just don't have like the hand-eye coordination so once the eyeliner is done I like to use mascara. It's on my bottom lashes. They tend to smudge more because there's hardly any. So that's why I use the Voluminous Hydro Fudge. This is in brown so you can't even really see my lashes. Um, because my eyelashes are naturally black. But I mean, it adds just a little bit. And then if you have really long lashes, I'm sure it would show more. And then just add mascara to your top one. So I just use the L'Oreal Voluminous. I think this might be my favorite mascara of all time. I've been using it since I was like in high school. On and off obviously because you want to try different mascaras. But definitely makes my small ass eyelashes look so much better. So I do the blinking method typically. today I've got a mango shirt on my new um, trousers from Zara and then these shoes I'm gonna go get a bagel so that's breakfast I'm gonna add just a little bit of hot sauce um yeah the company's called wood green bagel so I'll tell you guys how it is first bite 